Look, I have a ton of these lithium ion batteries, which came from eBay Dell laptop batteries. Um, they were nine cell batteries, and I think I bought uh, 20 at about 15 bucks, 16 bucks a piece. So this is about $320 worth of new. They're brand new, and I've actually used this company for uh, my personal laptop battery, and the battery actually worked still works pretty well and it comes with a three-year warranty so they're at least a decent quality generic lithium ion cell there's what it looks like and I have 180 of these little fellas that I have to hand solder to create a super big 48 volt battery pack and so this is what uh, <laughs> the mountain of batteries that uh, I've been working with uh, and again, guys, my bad, you know, I've just uh, been occupied with life and its demands. So I haven't been quite paying attention to this project as I should. However, you know, the season is, like I said, it's coming back around to where I want to I wanna be uh, riding my scooter more often. But here's where I'm at so far. This is my lithium ion custom battery pack. And I got to tell you, safety first, okay? This right here is a little explosive, really, if it's rubbed wrong, like literally. It, it could burst out in flames. Uh, if this thing were to burst out in flames, guess what? I don't think water would help you much at all. And I also don't think it would stop until whatever fuels is, is in this setup would, would uh, stop causing the fire to rage, you know what I mean? So it's very dangerous. This is, I wouldn't say a DIY thing unless you're very comfortable with Ohm's Law and a soldering iron obviously i mean look how many of these connections i've had to solder with big heavy gauge wire that in itself is inherently dangerous because if you get too much heat through that metal on that battery you could go through it it would not end well okay um so very tedious takes hours and hours i think this right here is about three hours of soldering um you know with some like china tech soldering iron which oh my god I realize I just I'm using the wrong tip on that thing um either way I'm actually considering even buying a spot welder you know spot welders how like they build uh, the laptop batteries they were spot welded with a little machine that like arcs um see those four dots that's the spot weld that I broke off from the I think it was a tin strip that they come with they don't come with wire they come with like flat tin strips connecting battery to battery and so there you have it. That's what um, a spot welder does. And they were on there pretty good. So I'm going to do, maybe do some research. There's a the backside. And um, I might invest. If it's affordable, I'm not going to lie. I might, I might be interested. Otherwise, I am committed to finishing it by hand. So no worries there. Problem is now I'm up, up against like a 30-day timeline. I'm trying to go on a trip where the scooter would come in so awesomely handy that um, I need to get this done. So another issue I have is like um, basically trying to figure out it's gonna be a 48 volt pack. It's gonna have about four of these. Okay, there's gonna be one more row. So it's probably gonna look, uh, we'll see. And by the way, I just hot glue these with my handy dandy hot glue gun. And it seems to be working very well. This is such a solid s single block that, yeah, good luck tearing them apart. Either way, it's gonna have another row, like so. Uh, so about that tall, and times four. So there's gonna be four total. It's gonna be a 48 volt battery pack. I have here a, uh, I don't wanna touch this because it's static sensitive. I don't have a wrist strap on. That's my battery management system. Um, it has 13 of these wires, which are gonna then connect to the 13 little baby uh, uh, series setups that I have in here. So every 13 of these is really one battery pack or cell or something. I'm not even sure of the technology, but terminology. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically I'm gonna have to hook all of these up or soldering yay um, it, to each of the, the 13 battery groups that are going to consist in the entire pack um, this is now basically going to allow 
protection of the battery pack, which means it won't overcharge it, it won't undercharge it, or let it under, no, sorry, let it over discharge is the correct term. So it won't, because the thing with these is they go below like 3.42 volts each, it's fried for life um, and could possibly explode, especially in a situation where I am uh, in a high amperage draw, which means I'm really going to be pushing these hard at times. And so if there's a failure of one, it could, it could get nasty. So an ever present danger with lithium ion, just know that. And so this is why I bought this to kind of have one step where it doesn't shove too much volts in there. It doesn't allow it to suck itself dry and self ex dis uh, destruct. Um, also it actually handles the charging. So really it means the charger now is a little cheaper because I just need a charger that's going to ram 54.6 volts into this specific 13 series connection uh, at which point it's going to take that 54.6 volts it's going to send it out on each wire and it's going to charge each 13 cell group or 13 battery group um, to exactly 54.6 it'll also do them independently so it, it's not just a batch charger it's gonna it's gonna balance it it's a balance charger so another layer of protection for the health and longevity of the pack is to have one of these guys this thing was about 44 bucks here's home girl and I guess just this moment decided to make it a girl usually my vehicles are guys but here she sits man it's been a while sorry but I will do a little test fit to show you what we're looking at here put it here that's that's what we're working with as of now like I said that this pack this pack's gonna need another row on top see it there the height um, but that's what we're working with and then we're gonna do I'll show you some of the clearances pretty pretty tight pretty tight but like I said man I wanted to stuff this guy with these things I wanted to ram as many as I could because I'm really trying for like a 30 plus mile range if I can get 30 miles on a single charge I'll be a happy camper okay so uh, yeah we'll see the front one probably would sit there second one about there third one about there okay maybe my math my demo was a little off but I know it'll hold four going this way because I've laid them out in there so four of these, it'll probably fill it up just about right, and that'll be great. So again, um, the weight will be worth it. The weight will be worth it. And I'm probably going to get those as well. And then I probably will also end up relocating. Um, uh, sorry for the shoddy camera work. Can't afford a camera guy just yet. But yeah, I'm going to end up relocating these cables and, um, you know, probably run them outside of the box. You can see it goes in right there. And while we're on the topic, I'll tell you, um, once I get this done, the videos will be a lot more free flowing, uh, quicker and of course, less complex. So, um, the next immediate upgrade and video would be front brakes. I need to add front brakes. I might add a, like a shock. I might swap that out, I'll do some research, and I might settle for at least a front suspension. So boom, another video idea, at least for now. Um, also, I'm going to do regular basic things like show you how to remove this rear wheel, which sometimes can be a little tricky. I mean, um, the drum brakes can get a little tricky uh, for me, especially reassembling it. I've had it off a, a few times, like obviously to paint the wheel. Um, and going back together it required adjustment I can never quite seem to get it right it takes adjusting like I, I won't even give it away now but I'll make a video of that is what I'm saying because um, it deserves one <laughs> other than that it's, it's not hard um, also I'm, I want automotive grade turn signals LED turn signals on the basket so I'm gonna go ahead and put you know yellow LED yellow LED and probably a decent brake one in the middle and like I said, I want it on the handlebar like a real motorcycle would. Flip it left, it goes left. Cancel, go right, blah, blah, blah. Um, and a nice LED headlight as well. 
I'm probably gonna make that happen and these will all be individual videos so stay tuned again my bad for taking so long I'm gonna have to get on it get it wrapped up and done uh, thanks for your patience and thanks for watching see ya